My name is Imogen and I'm here today to talk to you about dress codes. Dress codes, so what are they? Why are they so important? A dress code is something I have extensive knowledge of from my time at a private school. Uh, no, I'm not talking about socially acceptable dress codes for smart casual or cocktail. I'm instead referring to the dress codes in relation to school uniforms. So a dress code is a set of rules, which in the case of school uniforms, is a written code that governs what a student's clothing and physical appearance can be. I acknowledge the need for a uniform and a dress code for schools. However, students should have the option of a gender neutral uniform and or being able to choose what gender uniform to wear. Currently in Western Australia, public schools as of January 1st, 2018, have been legally required to provide a gender neutral option to students, which is generally the option to wear shorts or pants. Uh, this is under the policy dress codes for students in public schools. Private schools are, however, not required to comply with this policy. Gender dysphoria is commonly experienced by many transgender persons, including children and teenagers. Gender dysphoria, as defined in the NSS, is a condition where a person experiences discomfort or distress because there is a mismatch between their biological sex and their gender identity. It is not a mental illness as gender dysphoria can be treated by transitioning into the true gender of a person. The distress caused by gender dysphoria is heightened by a student not having access to a gender neutral uniform or a uniform that aligns with their gender. Furthermore, school is already stressful enough to navigate with constant pressure, social media, just mean people and our dear friend puberty. Teenagers already have pretty terrible body image issues which is seen through the prevalence of eating disorders and body dysphoria issues. Just a quick side note, gender dysphoria and body dysphoria are two different conditions. Body dysphoria is a mental illness and it is the obsessive focus on a perceived flaw in one's appearance. Puberty is already challenging enough for teenagers, especially with social media these days, let alone a transgender teenager who is struggling with gender dysphoria. Why make it more difficult for them by forcing them to wear a uniform that focuses on their biological sex and not their gender? So Eric Lai is a transgender boy. Uh, he went to big school in Victoria and was forced to wear a skirt as part of the uniform. They would not allow him to wear pants as a gender neutral alternative and forced him to conform to their standards. He would go home and cry before and after going to school. At his next school, where he, was in, he informed the teachers that he was transgender, and was, he was still forced to wear a skirt. A school that has successfully implemented a change to their dress code is Brighton College in England. It's a school for boys and girls aged 11 to 18. It now gives all students the option of wearing a skirt and a blouse or the option of trousers and a shirt, regardless of gender. It's been embraced by the students with many girls choosing to wear the pants and a few male students even expressing the desire to wear a skirt. So, what needs to change? As mentioned earlier, public schools are required to provide a gender neutral uniform option to their students, whereas private schools are not required. For private schools, it's actually up to the school's council to decide. The first step that schools need to take to provide this op is to provide this option, aka private schools need to allow their students the option to wear shorts or pants. Currently in Perth, Guildford Grammar, Wesley College, All Saints College, Sacred Heart and Kingsway Christian College allow their female students to wear pants.
or shorts, with the same option being given to their male students. Because all the private schools are privately governed by their own councils in relation to dress codes, and these councils are quite arguably very conservative, there needs to be a legislative change to the school education regulations, which states that a school must provide a gender neutral alternative to all students. Both public and private schools do not allow transgender kids to wear the uniform aligning with their gender and instead force them to wear the uniform of their biological sex. It can be noted that there are possible routes for a student to apply to wear their choice of a uniform through, a, through an application to the principal and the school board, but the school board is able to reject this application. The rejection of the application does not count as sex discrimination, as under Section 18 of the Equal Opportunity Act 1984, there is no provision which makes it unlawful for an educational institute to reject a transgender student from wearing the uniform that best aligns with their gender. Therefore, there needs to be a legislative change to this, which can, which can allow schools to stop discriminating against transgender students. However, I do believe the first step is to require all schools to provide a gender neutral alternative um, to their students as soon as possible because at least it's a step in the right direction and it will help to pave the way for this future change. So what can you do to help? How you can help make this change? Well, first of all, I recommend sending letters to the Education Minister, which in Western Australia's case is Sue Ellery. I have left a link in the description box to her contact details. This approach was previously successful in regards to the amendment to the dress codes for students in public schools policy, which, re which required public schools to provide a gender neutral alternative to their uniform. Secondly, you can share this video to your social media circle to help spread awareness by clicking the button below. I've also created a petition to which the info is in the description box below. I would also love to hear your stories in the comments below or post under hashtag dress collared, which I will be monitoring and possibly sharing some stories in the future. So let's help change uniforms together.